everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Maya Alexis and I'm a senior computer science major with two AWS certifications so I've been noticing a pattern of people following me on Instagram shout out to you if you follow me on Instagram because my Instagram is not even on here um, so people have been DMing me with questions about how to get into AWS or studying for their certification when they don't have a tech background. So I'm just going to make a quick video for all of you guys who do not have a tech background on how you can be successful in passing AWS certifications or even trying to like get a job in cloud. So the first thing I want to tell you is if you're taking the cloud practitioner or the solutions architect associate, you do not have to know how to program to pass the test. There is no programming on these first two tests. I personally haven't taken the other test to say that for those, but I'm going to assume that there's not much programming. It's all about the AWS services. So focus on the services. A lot of people would DM me asking me like what language should they learn to pass these tests? You don't have to learn the language. We can get into you learning programming languages after you get your certification. So if you're trying to study for these certifications right now, just focus on learning services and kind of put the programming learning on hold. The next thing is you could completely pass the AWS Solutions Architect exam without any previous tech knowledge or background in AWS. I know plenty of people that have went straight into the Solutions Architect instead of taking the Cloud Practitioner first. It's completely up to you. I took both because I didn't really know and I just wanted to get started first to kind of grasp my depth of if I could really pass or not because I thought it would be extremely hard. But you can pass. So if you want to just skip straight into the Solutions Architect Associate, you can do it. I also get a lot of DMs about people asking me what programming language should I learn? Like, where should I start? After you focus on passing your AWS certification, then get certified and you want to figure out what kind of side projects you want to do, you need to figure out with your project, what problem are you solving? What are you going to use in AWS to solve your problem? Then you can think about what programming language would be best. Programming languages are so broad. There's so many out there and they have so many different uses. So for example, if I wanted to make a service that used AWS Lambda to check my emails, but I've been spending all my time learning HTML. There's literally, I just wasted all my time learning that language because I won't be using that language for AWS Lambda. So focus on the project you wanna make, the problem you wanna solve, what services it would take to solve the problem, and then what services and what language you would need to know to solve the problem instead of you just randomly learning a programming language because it sounds good. You know what I'm saying? So you don't waste your time and you can be productive. The last thing is a bit of encouragement. So I've worked in a couple of different workplaces where they just started onboarding using AWS and Azure and all these different types of cloud products. And there's a lot of people with those jobs currently who are just learning this stuff. So don't feel like you're behind or it's like, I'm too old. Like, I wish I knew this before. Like, no, there is people right now who don't know about AWS and are taking these certifications and taking the classes just as you are. So feel encouraged. You're not the only one going through this right now. There are people who are currently in their jobs learning this stuff too. And that is all I have for you today. I wish you the best. If you can find my Instagram, feel free to DM me. But if not, leave comments below or just email me. And I wish you the best on your exam. And I hope this video helped you.